next, the next speaker is Tony Murphy, who will be followed by Susan Doha. Good morning, I'm here to add my voice. I'm Tony with the uh, People's MTA. And um, it's come out in the media, some MTA board members have complained because they weren't consulted about the L train situation. And it seems to me that if the MTA board wants people to listen to them and to be relevant, they need to take the side of the writers. That means taking a stand with people who are here today and not raising the fare and accessory. It means uh, not raising the fare for anybody for that matter, for a system that's quite dysfunctional. It means making, it means putting in elevators. Don't use our fare money to fight the lawsuits about elevators. Install the elevators and the ramps. Use the money for that. It means not using an NYPD to arrest people for not having the fare, which is done in a racist way. It means taking a side with the riders and not uh, blaming uh, so-called fare beaters uh, for the dysfunctions of the system. And most of all, it means taking the side of the riders and not raising the fare when so much of the money that's taken out of the MTA goes to Wall Street in the form of bond payments or other uh, companies like MasterCard. Everybody gets paid first, and the system itself is crumbling. You just heard witness from a Gene about the problems on the, the express buses. This should be fixed. This should be not a problem. This should be automatic. Um, the excellent breakdown that was just given by Iman Ramawi. Don't raise fares on Accessoride. People on Accessoride are often on disability. This is something that, they, that absolutely cannot be afforded. If the, if the MTA board wants to be relevant, if it wants to maintain its relevance, it will take the side of the riders and do the right thing and take a stand against the fare hikes. And if the MTA board can't do that, then maybe there's a reason why people aren't listening to you. Thank you.